roses are red, his name is Peppy. He runs so fast because he make a big steppy. An orangutan traveling at non-Euclidean speeds erupts from the aether to clothesline you into another dimension. Okay, what's the point of that? Ways to look more angelic, carry flowers everywhere, pink or gold eye shadow, wear long ankle dresses, soft humming, and have a pink glowy blush. You could also wield a flaming sword. Or be covered in eyes. Three pairs of wings. A wheel. Or announce your arrival by screaming, FEAR NOT, wherever you go. I recently heard the phrase, the human version of tangled earphones, and I've honestly felt that describes most people in my social group. That's how I describe my best friend and my least favorite person. Today I went to a coffee shop, fully masked and legal, I'm from the UK, and I witnessed this. Barista, do you want your coffee hot or iced? Dude, well, I'm not gay, so hot. Okay, so that's three fifty. Turns to me. What about you? I'll have an iced latte. And that look on that dude's face. I don't know why or how it made him feel that way, but I've never felt more powerful in my life. FYI, the name Dennis is derived from Dionysus. That is all. This, this means, Denny's. Denny's is absolutely the domain of a god of chaos and revelry. Everything suddenly makes so much sense! Okay, didn't 4chan create some shitty anime girl, or was that some sort of horrifying fever dream? Oh, do you mean the shitty anime girl that was supposed to be everything that could be seen as Moe put together into a collective beast known as Moetron? Jesus Christ, you could see the suffering in its eyes. Oh, looks like someone's not practicing social distancing, Uwu. Guess you'll be infected by the coronavirus. Stay the fuck home, Uwu. This Lord Officer, shoot him! Yo, this is the old age we deserve. Riding a train with a spear, eye patch, and live crow. Today is today. He's just on a quest. That's just Odin. Just another ordinary day on the public transportation. Probably a Wednesday. I get it. Today I learned the Beatles approached Stanley Kubrick to direct a Lord of the Rings movie starring themselves. Tolkien killed the project as a result of his hate for the Beatles. A hate developed after moving three doors down from the Beatles in 1964, who irked him with the indescribable noise from their practice sessions. Who, A man who spent hundreds of pages describing trees and meals and worked out the linguistics of multiple fictional languages and entire cosmology of his fictional world Call the Beatles rehearsal sounds indescribable. Today at work, I let someone into a dressing room and they said thanks. And half of me tried to say you're welcome, and the other half tried to say no problem, and I ended up saying your problem. Mood. Somebody's playing a piano, it's midnight here, why? Update, I figured out they're playing, my heart will go on. Update, I just opened my door and yelled, Jack! The music stopped, and I could hear somebody running down the hall above me shouting, Rose! Oh my god! Can I ship it? No. It'll sink. You. When the sun hits the pelican's beak at the right angle, you can see inside of it. He's just trying to find his son. Maybe I should do the Boo Radley challenge where I stay in my house for 25 years and never leave. Ah. This is the greatest literary reference I've ever read. Look at these super awesome opal cubes! Oh, I want to put these in my mouth real bad, but I know they're rocks, so I'm getting pissed off. Judge, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Me. No. What, what do I do? Power move of the century. I looked this up because I wanted to know if you could, and you can technically, but you're instantly guilty of contempt of court and go directly to jail. Ah! Trial speedrun. Proceeds to break a glass bottle. Okay, who wants to fight? Accidentally cut someone. Oh my god, are you okay? This post is so Canadian. Yeah, but I live in Texas. You're definitely Canadian. I'm not fucking Canadian! One of us. One of us. What's going on? One of us. One of us. One of us. One of 